Hotties. I know it's fucking freezing, bro. Oh. I really don't get it. Like, conservatives want to see Hunter Biden's laptop so much. It's like, why do you want to see his dick? Like, I don't want to see his fucking dick. Are you one? Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to see his fucking dick. Oh, you got your Gabby boys. You and Gabby are going to cuddle? Yeah. He's <laughs> so cute. Well, hello, boo. Good morning. Good morning, Elijah. Mm. How is everyone this morning? Hello, Cranky. Good morning. I'm, I, I woke up and got the hubby some coffee, got me mm -hmm. some hot cocoa. Thank you. Hello, Becky. It's cold. It's like, it, it says right now on my computer, it's 18 degrees outside. And the whole Northeast is supposed to have this big old snowstorm. Not looking forward to it. I'm waiting for the store to open three minutes to go. <laughs> what you getting, Elijah? <laughs> so cold this morning. Oh, I am. I, I have my hoodie on. I have my blanket on. I'm good. I'm good. How's Gavin? He's cuddling with his daddy right now. He's got a big old smile on with his eyes closed being like, ah, cuddling daddies. Well, I'm, is, is that a good thing or a bad thing, Tom Tom? I mean, obviously you went to the methadone clinic, so are you a nurse or are you a patient? If you are, good for you for trying to get help. Okay. I know it's hard getting off that shit. Yep, exactly. Methadone is the road to recovery. Yeah. Well, God bless you, sweetheart. God bless you. Surprisingly warm in Michigan, 32. I'm getting some coffee stuff and frozen potatoes, tots. Ah, oh, yum. Mm. You know what? I, I don't have anything for it, but this morning would be a really good morning for, like, some cinnamon rolls. I love cinnamon rolls on a nice cold day. You make them, and they're all nice and warm and, and, and fluffy and delicious. And... What do I have in the kitchen? I don't even fucking know. I'm getting groceries this morning, but. <laughs> I know, what am I drinking? I'm drinking some Swiss Miss. <laughs> I very much like the hot cocos. Cinnamon, cinnamon roll. Oh, I love the orange cinnamon rolls. They're like one of my favorites. My phone keeps fucking going off. Okay. You've been up since 5.30, Nerdy? I've been up since 5. I woke up. You love peppermint hot cocoa. Oh, it's so good. I don't have any peppermint sticks, though. But, um, I've been up since 5, woke up, had to go to pee. And usually when I wake up around that time, I'm not gonna go back to fucking sleep. I mean, I, 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 I've noticed something. The older you get... And this is maybe, maybe been happening to my body for about eight months now, but dudes, you're going to get up multiple times in the night to take a fucking pee. And it's fucking annoying because it's like you want to sleep. You don't want to get up and pee, you want to sleep. I, I, I don't even remember the last time I actually had a, a, a solid freaking sleep where I didn't wake up in the middle of it. I remember that. I wish I could, but I know. You have anxiety? I'm sorry about that. 
same. I have the anxiety and the depression, which is lovely. Not. I still don't get it why conservatives want to see Hunter Biden's pee pee so much. Like, they're always like, the laptop, the laptop. And it's like, dude, that laptop was when Hunter Biden was the worst in his drug addiction. Do you really want to see that and make fun of him and laugh about him over that? Something that really, like, affects a lot of fucking Americans? You really want to show yourself like that? Or, or maybe, maybe you could stop the fucking political bullshit and, and just have some compassion for the person and, and realize that man went through something and struggled. I don't know. I'm not up because I want to be. I have to adult. Ew. Hunter Biden sucks. Well... I understand that, Elaine, but still, you don't, like, revenge porn is still illegal, and that would be revenge porn. There's no news or it's informative to anyone seeing some dude schlon. Why do you want to see Hunter Biden schlon? I mean, don't you ladies get enough dick pics in your DMs? I know I do. Oh my god, I could open up my Facebook and it's just nothing but penis. I'm sick of looking at penis. Men, stop showing me your dick. I don't care. That's true, Grease Bunny. I don't care, though, how a dick looks. I know how a dick looks. Thank you for showing me. This is why I'm a lesbian. See, Becky, you get it. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Thank you, Chevy. That's 69. I don't want to see any PP. See, you get it. Shoot, I'm 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 39 and I don't want to see it. Like I don't want to see it. Don't show me it. I don't care. Like, I don't know why guys think it's so fucking impressive anyway. It's not impressive. All it is is a freaking sea cucumber. Thank you for showing me your sea cucumber. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll change the subject. I'm just... I'm really sick of seeing penis. Like... I, and it's not... It's, I, I'll, I'll go... It, it's, it's, it's women, too. I'm sick of... I'm, I'm, like, really sick of the sexualization of women, too. I'm... I'm... <laughs> Maybe it's my age. I don't know. I, I am so tired of turning on my Twitter or 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 my Instagram, which is why I'm never on it. And if I don't answer you, that's probably why is because I'm sick of seeing these these Twitter, these Twitter, they, they say it's exercise, but really the whole time they're showing their ass with their tight little like freaking tight pants showing their ass. And it's like, oh, come on, lady. It's so freaking obvious what you're doing. You're not doing exercise. Or you go on Twitter and they're like, and then it's just automatic tits. And you see the tits and it's like, Jesus. I didn't want to see that. I was just looking for the freaking news. And then I got tits in my fucking face. Stick with Google for news. And Twitter. What? But Twitter is where you go if you want the news now, okay? Twitter is where you go if you want porn. No. Twitter is where you get the news, like, right when it happens. <laughs> That's 90% of Instagram. I know, I can't even look at it. It's like, Jesus. People are thirsty, man. They're thirsty. It's like, why does all these bodies impress you? I mean, I was... <laughs> I was a home health worker for years. You see how... You know how many naked bodies I've seen and washed and clothed and all of that? A shit ton. A shit ton. It doesn't impress me, someone's body. So I, I just, I don't understand. Maybe it's me. But when I see a body, there's a Twitter account that I avoid due to the kind of thing. Only it's all nudity, yeah, right? 
whatever diet I'm on, it's called cancer. <laughs> I don't want to stay on cancer. Anyway, it's the it's the trendiest diet around, folks. You know, <laughs> let cancer eat your body away. <laughs> I know, right? There you go. <laughs> At least I still have my dark sense of humor. <laughs> I can relate to you about the body image topic. Well, the thing is, I look when I see a naked body, I look at it in a completely scientific way. Like, I don't look at it and be like, oh, wow, well, I want to fuck that. That's okay, Grease. I don't know when they're starting on. I still have to, other tests I have to get for it. And I'm waiting on those appointments. All I know is my tits really fucking hurt lately. And I'm really afraid of losing my tits. And I'm wondering, what do I do if I do lose my tits? My grandmother lost both tits, so... <laughs> from breast cancer. So I'm really... And I have big breasts, just like she does. So I, I'm, like... Really scared about losing my breasts. But I'm thinking it's most likely going to happen. This one is the worst of the boobs, though. This boob is the worst. Um, it's really being eaten up right now. There's, like, gashes and stuff underneath the breast. There's, like, it's, it's, it's horrible looking. It's horrible looking. Um, I don't feel sexy. At all. At all. Um, but there's nothing I can do. Like, what do you do without your breasts? It, should I do the tattoo thing on my chest? Where they tattoo? Should I, should I, like, get breast implants? And, I mean, my breasts would be higher and perkier. I'll, I'll say there's a benefit in that. It's not a mass. Um, it's a form of breast cancer where it's inflammation instead of a, a mass. It's a rare form. <laughs> I do have an FB. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram. You probably get get a hold of me better on Instagram at Shannon Ease Love. Yeah, I'd love to hear that, Shibby. Hopefully you don't lose them. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know yet. But if I do lose them, what do I do? Do I get reconstruction? Do I do the tattoo thing on my chest? Thank you. But if you go on my Twitter, I, I know I, it's probably low, but I'll probably post a picture where I lift up my breasts and I show you how it looks underneath. It's really gross. I hate it. It hurts like hell. Um. <laughs> um, there's nothing you can fucking do about it. Other than go to the doctor and hope to God you don't die. But I don't know. It takes forever to get a doctor appointment in this goddamn state. It sucks. You know, I've even, like, it's getting so bad that I'm like, should I go to the emergency room and, like, have them figure this out now? Hi, Caroline. Like, and I'm sorry it wasn't on yesterday. I know I was intending to be on yesterday, but an emergency happened at my son's school. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's, it's, it's every mother's worst nightmare. Um, 
so yesterday I was consoling my son. So that's where I was. I was with William. Um, he's fine, by the way. He's fine. He's fine, by the way. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. He's just he's just scared and nervous, and um, it's understandable why he would be. I'm not going to say anything more than that. I can't say anything more than that. He said, um, he told me he didn't want specifics out on the internet over it, but it's it really fucked up. Um, but he is okay. He is okay. Thank God. But I, like... I will say this without saying anything. Why do people have to fucking lie? And, and, and try to put things on people when they're completely and utterly innocent. And, and why, why make certain things into a joke when they shouldn't be joking? Because, you know... <laughs> I just wanted everyone to know, my son is not to blame for any of this. It's just he was involved in something. And, um... Let's just say kids are fucking assholes. <laughs> kids are assholes. And this is what happened. And I'll tell you, bad things will happen in schools if you continue with your bullying and harassment of others online because you're teaching your kids to do it too. And when the police find the person who actually tried to do that to my son, they're going to be fucking arrested. And I, I believe personally that the event that happened to my son happened because he was gay. I truly believe it. That they did that to him because he was gay. And I'm pissed over it. Like, it's still happening. It's still happening. When we were kids, uh, the gay kid was always labeled out and treated like shit. And it's still fucking happening today. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Like, no child needs to go through all this shit because they're gay. Like, stop fucking with gay people, period. Stop it. What happened? I missed it because I spilled coffee. I can't talk about it. He he wants it private, but something happened. That's why I wasn't on yesterday. Something happened with my son. It was really fucking bad and fucked up. And, um... I think it was personally done to him because he's gay. And I, I honestly... I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get... How in 2022, people are still hating on people over their sexual preference. Okay, there has to be some kind of acknowledgement in this world where y y you have to realize there are going to be gay people and there's going to be straight people and there's going to be people that are in between and all through it. But even though they do these things in their bedroom, it does not give you the right to disrespect them as people. Yeah, Cece. Dude, I will be I will be there for him for anything. Anything. It doesn't matter. He's my baby. I don't care how fucking he's taller than me too. He's about six two, six three now. I don't care. I don't care if my baby is taller than me and bigger than me. I don't care. He's still my baby. <laughs> Hopefully you re yeah, Monday I am going to fucking call the fucking school and, and, and bitch them out. And I don't care if they're offended by it, frankly. I'm offended that happened to my son at school. Of course. 
I still have legal right to my children to see them, to talk to them. They're just in foster care because I'm sick, and I try to tell people this. The stupid internet tries to make it about abuse. It wasn't ever about abuse. It's because I'm sick. <laughs> I want them to, I want them in a place where they don't have to be stressing all the time because mom is really fucking sick. Do you get that? I want them to have some kind of normality in their life. Never matters how tall they are or how old they are. They will always be your babies. Exactly. I sent out emails on Friday. It happened. Very strongly worded emails. Good idea to have a paper trail. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm just really, like, people really need to stop with this fucking gay bashing. Oh, it's so wrong. I don't care if you're Christian either. I don't care if you're a Christian and, 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 you believe that it's a sin? I don't care. Jesus told you to love people. Not disrespect them. It's like the, the, these, these Christians can go have affairs on their wives and fornicate all they fucking want. But if you're gay, you're gay. You're the worst of sinners. It's bullshit. What message was blocked out by Automod? I don't know. I'm so sorry, Grease Bunny. I don't even see your message. So it must have been auto mod. I want to have another hot cocoa. Yeah, I'll make it for you. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Here my baby goes. I, I, I want to wake up and give you coffee every morning. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> just got here what happened just an event at my son's school I'm pissed off over it I'm pissed off over it people at least in my neck of the woods is a lot more understanding and accepting of people's sexuality you would think you would think since we're so close to New York City people would be around here No. Being gay, according to Christians, I'm not a Christian, is a sin, but they morph it into like an unforgivable sin, but according to Christian theology, it's just a sin equal to lying or stealing or anything else like that. You don't automatically go to hell for it. Yeah, exactly, Grease Bunny. Exactly. <sighs> like, all sin means is missing the mark. It doesn't mean like you're doomed forever. Yeah, right? Like, the level of disrespect people have for the LGB, the LGBT community is disgusting at this point. It's, it's like, it needs to stop. Why do you care so much of what's going on in someone's bedroom? Why do you care? I don't. I don't. The only thing I want for my son in life is to be happy and safe. That's all I care about. Is he happy? Is he safe? All right, good. That's all I care about. Anything else, it doesn't freaking matter to me. Am I doing better health-wise? Absolutely not. I'm waiting on a doctor's appointment. I feel like shit. That's true, Farah. Yeah, that's how I am. As long as what goes in someone's bedroom doesn't involve animals or kids, I don't give a fuck what they do. Same. Like, it's just... It's just weird. Like... Christians, I'm a believer in Christ, but you really need to, like, try... Try to be ma mature about sexuality. Try to be mature about sexuality. Try to understand that some people's sexuality may be different than your sexuality. Heck, you have straight people who like doing different things in bed than, than other straight people in beds. People do different things. But at the end of the day, it's all about pleasure. And are we really going to hate people on how they feel their pleasure is the right way for them? Are we really going to do that? I don't know.
Maybe, maybe I'm just a sexual positive Christian, a sex positive Christian, you know? But I don't see anything wrong with sex. It's very natural. It's, it's, you know, and this is just my opinion that it's natural. It, none of us would be here if we didn't have sex and it should not be shunned or, or, or treated like <laughs> some kind of taboo for engaging into something like that, an activity that everyone does. Everyone. I don't get it. To hate people off their sexual preference is dumb. Anyway, I'm off that subject. I answer to God and my mama, that's it, that's all. I'm eating buddy bars and drinking a doc- Ah. Yum. We are all in the same hell fighting different demons. I judge you not by the demons you battle, my opinion. See, I like that. That's awesome. But no, I believe what my son experienced was homophobia. Straight up. Straight up. Do you think it is, Jason? Jason. Do you think what William went to was probably homophobia? Uh, I have no idea, honey. I don't have any opinion because I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Gabby. You want to say hi to people? What Come here, boy. I'm sure everyone wants to see the Gavin. You're famous. You gotta show your stardom, Gavin. He's just sitting there. He's like, I'm just sitting there and smiling. <laughs> Rev should have his lungs checked out too. Probably. He's been smoking for years. <laughs> this morning, <laughs> it's a boy. I'm trying to get the boys. Gavin Bear. Come here, baby. You giving me squinty eyes? You giving me squinty eyes, boy? He's a sweet baby. <laughs> he's too cute. All he's doing, uh, he's just like. <laughs> he just smiles and squints. It's the cutest thing. I don't get it. I don't get how that cat can be so cute, so adorable. I love cheese, da -dum. I love cheese, da -dum. I love cheese, da -dum. yes I do. Mm. Oh. Nice warm drink in the morning. Wake you up. I should be getting a message soon about the groceries. You know, you can go into your settings and pick specific words and phrases out of mod blocks if you're the channel owner mods can't do it for you yeah I just don't know what specific phrases you're saying per se oh job yeah work that was me cuz I got sick of people fucking saying you need to get a job you need to get a work and it's like what the fuck am I doing here Now that was me, I blocked job and work because I got sick of it being fucking spammed in my chat. <laughs> get a job, get a work. It's like I am right now, assholes. <laughs> like it or not, I'm paid by Jeff Bezos.
Who's your boss, Jeff Bezos? That's who my boss is. Are you excited for Saturday morning cartoons? What are you talking? Are they coming back Saturday morning? Are Saturday morning cartoons coming back? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen Saturday morning cartoons since I was a kid. Like, they disappeared, like, around the time I was... When did Saturday morning cartoons disappear? Like, when we were teenagers, I think. You once mentioned low impact yoga. I'm telling you, girl, you would have an audience because you would bring your humor along and anything is easier when you're laughing. Even yoga, they have yoga with goats. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, that's a profession? What's a profession? I work two jobs right now, but I start a good job and will probably only keep one of the two I have right now because I'm just addicted to work at this point. Oh. Yes, everyone watches 90 commercials and gargoyles and gummy bears. Oh, I loved the gummy bears. You could nibble on Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms, too. I know, right? Gummy bears! Do, 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 We are the gummy bears. I don't remember all the song, though, obviously. <laughs> yes, Schoolhouse Rock back in the day. <laughs> Awesome, Grease Bunny. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a line from the song. <laughs> we are the gummy bears. We are the gummy bears. Jason never watched the gummy bears. I was shocked. I do too. I lo I love bears. Like. People are like, were you a doll girl when you were little? I was like, no, I was a teddy bear girl. <gasps> There's a Gavin bear! People, you want to say hi to the peoples? You go say hi? You want to say hi to the peoples? Okay. That's a boy. <gasps> Look, it's a boy! <laughs> say hello, Gavin. <laughs> say hello. You're not going to look at the camera? You can look at the camera. Say hello, everyone. Say hello. I am Gavin. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. And I got cute little toe beans. I got the cutest toe beans in the world. Because I'm a good Gavin. <laughs> My baby. You did get cinnamon rolls? <laughs> Enjoy. Has Jason looked into DoorDash? Uh, yeah. They won't hire him. He tried. Oh, 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 oh. We get the bellies. We get the belly rub. Oh. Use your belly. Use your belly. Use your belly rub. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Get the chin. We get the chin. You you have two ferrets and they freaking censored you? Weird. That's a it's watermelon, Gavin. <laughs> it's like what's going on? Hmm? What's going on? Look at the toe beans. I know he's got the cutest little toe beans. He's like, no, I tickle this. Do you want to see watermelon? Okay, you go to watermelon. Gavin's going to see watermelon. <laughs> He's got the cutest little toe beans. He's such a good cat. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't wish for a better cat. 
I also say that about my sons. I couldn't wish for better sons either. Like, I have good freaking kids. I really do. They're not kids anymore. I can't say that. Young men. I have a little pit bull. I would have a cat, but they just don't make a good pet for my personal needs in a pet. Cats are cute, though. Ah, oh, you're so lucky you got a pit. I love pits. I love me a pit bull. I think they are the most sweetest, most... They are the best dogs, in my opinion. Like, if I was going to get a dog breed, it would be a pit bull. It really would, because I, I've, I've, I've made so many friends with pit bulls over the years. Never owned one myself, but made friends with pit bulls, and I just, I, I love them. They're so sweet. My kitty name is Orange Chicken. I love that. That's awesome, CC6. Yeah, she's still a puppy, but she's grown up way too quickly. <laughs> I got four dogs, a pit, a rot, and two German Shepherds. And then there's my kitty and my chickens. <gasps> you got chickens. I love chickens. They're funny animals. Yeah, who's, who fucking cares about sleep? What is sleep? Ten ladies and three roosters. Best eggs I've ever had. Yeah, I know. They're just... When you eat a fresh egg compared to, like, a store-bought egg, you can see the difference. Even, it, even like, using fresh eggs from your own coop, it actually makes bacon better. Um, my roommate, before I moved in with Jason, um, she had chickens. And when I was 13, I, had, I was living on a farm, and we had chickens, so... Cool. I have 11 chickens. Hi, Cookie! Roosters are mean. <laughs> this is totally random, but, uh... What? Th there is one Metallica song that the Who could never do right. Never. And that's One Leaf Clover. Or No Leaf Clover, sorry. They could never do that song. I don't know what song that is. You don't know No Leaf Clover? It's, it's on the radio, like, every day. When it was on the S&M thing. With the orchestra, when it comes to feel like it's, uh, it's, uh, seeing the light at the end of your tunnel, it's just a freight train going your way. You don't know that song. Well, they couldn't do that one anyway. Usually, when I hear Metallica, it's, it's switch off. <laughs> I don't like the band. I do not like Metallica. They're not. It's ears. it's not my aesthetic. I just question your ears at that point. <laughs> the best song, in my opinion, was Sandman for Metallica, and that. I apologize to the Metallica fans out there. I just don't like grainy vo voices. They irritate me. Like, listening listening to Metallica is like listening to Alex Jones, okay? What the hell? Very grainy voice, very irritating to me. <laughs> it makes me angry. Hi, Seanster. <laughs> it annoys me. Yeah, listening to Alex Jones annoys me. Unless it's the Kanye, um, the Kanye interview he did with Alex Jones. Then I was like, okay, I can handle Alex Jones. Because Alex didn't really talk that much, actually, in that interview. It was mostly Kanye being absolutely insane. And his insanity, for some reason, makes me laugh. So I watch him. <laughs> angry, grainy voice, but you like Ramstein. Ramstein is an angry or grand grainy though it was it's it's more deep like oh there's a difference like metallica's like hey, yeah, and, and but 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 ramstein is is there's difference about some thrashy typo negative stuff like kill all the white people. <laughs> I saw a pic of David Lee Roth last night. He was bald. I would never recognize without seeing his name. Holy shit. Yeah. I always say never go full Alex. I probably wear my tinfoil hat, but never full Alex. Not full Alex. No, no. don't go full Alex. Why 2 k So you don't like the pitch of other dudes' voice. So you don't like ACDC then either. No! Here's the difference. <laughs> 
ACDC is really fun to imitate. I'm gonna be honest, I always thought ACDC was very mediocre. My dad would have a heart attack and die. For I that. know that. And and I feel the same way almost, which is really weird. I like I should love them. <laughs> Dirty deeds, done that cheap. Dirty deeds, done that cheap. That's it. Dirty deeds. I don't done that cheap. Dirty deeds and the dunga cheap. Dirty deeds and the dunga cheap. Ah cyanide. High voltage! Dunga cheap! Sorry. <laughs> that's why I hate them. Bon Scott's voice. That's his name, right, Bon Scott? He, so he sounds like my mother when she's yelling. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is Jack. Like, what the hell is that? I got big balls, but who's got the biggest oh my God. balls of them all? Balls Mahoney. <laughs> Have you heard Alex Jones as an indie song? Is, is the I I have I've, I've heard the uh, the frogs are gay one. <laughs> but I want to be crazy like Alex Jones song. Want to be crazy. <laughs> That's all something real old school for people to look up. What? Look up a crazy like Alex Jones song on Her YouTube. Crazy like Alex Jones. I want to be crazy. You're crazy like Alex Jones. It's an actual song. Wearing his tinfoil hat and shit. See, but is, is Alex Jones crazier or crazy, as crazy as David Icke? I don't think Alex is crazy at all. Do you think David Icke is crazy? No, not really. He just had a spiritual awakening and he thought he was Jesus for about three months, which I can relate to. Well, I didn't think I was Jesus. I thought everybody else was Jesus, but... Um, <laughs> and he was wearing turquoise and shit. Nice, Grease Bunny. No, not the Frogs Are Gay song. Look up Alex Jones as an indie song. It's his words, but put it to indie music. It's fabulous. I love David Icke. <laughs> oh, man, when I first found David Icke. Oh, yeah. I listened to him for hours, man. Yeah, Dan Zig did not age well. He's probably still ripped, though. Maybe. My God, what a fuck physique on that guy. Amazing. You see him live, it's just like... Bruh. That's a male, you know? You hate it? You want to be moving and active? Moving and active to me means pain. Lots of pain. So, I don't look forward to that. <laughs> I can't stand Bruce Springsteen. He sounds like he's struggling to poop. <laughs> home from work uh the the graveyard shift uh my favorite <laughs> not my favorite I, I i hate the graveyard shift i hate it god what it's so cold i know Fuck this. i'm still waiting for a message from our dude And now my cat are running around with the zoomies. Oh, I love that. I mean, fast paced, heavy lifting on my feet the whole time, working nonstop until my break. And I clock out strict attendance and doing all this with people who are held to the same standard and do it. I used to do that. And I got sick. <laughs> Danzig is like five foot three. He looks weird. He's almost as wide as he is tall. Oh, he got fat. Ooh, Danzig got fat. Really? Let's see. I want to see this shit. Oh my god! No way! Really? I don't believe that. That's insane. Yeah, show me. He looks kind of bloated. That's probably a picture from like. That's not really. Yeah, he kind of looks bloated. I mean, he's getting up there, but, like, it's hard to believe that, that he would get plump like that because he would... Look, look at that. Look Back at of the day. Boom. 
perfect male. Look at me. I get all the pussy. Help my kid. You have no idea how much pussy. Okay. <laughs> like 10 women in one night. Like that's dancing. And the got goth chicks, dude. 10 goth chicks at once. That's I did too. I worked third shift for four nights in a row. It's muggy down in Alabama. Your fi fiber would be screaming right now. I run an entire store by myself and my fiber is always angry about an hour after I get off my feet. Yeah, it's pretty much. Dan Zig is transitioning to Sigourney Weaver, probably. <laughs> God bless you for being able to have chronic pain and, and, you know, still able to fucking go through it. God bless you for that. You know, I used to hustle that way, but it got to the point where it's like, I, I'm going to die of a heart attack if I continue this way. But then again, you have fibro, osteo, and other ailments. You're going to be a mess. I wish I only worked four nights in a row on one shift. I work first Friday, Saturday, Sunday, thirds. Monday and Tuesday, second on Wednesday. God bless you for that. I can't do that anymore. I can't. I was I was working twelve hour shifts um over the night. Five days a week. I was beyond exhausted. Beyond exhausted. And I was working like the last jobs I had, I was working as a taxi driver and then and then um I was do I was you know, pretty much a house manager at um, a resident for people who are disabled, but that's true, Ferret. Girl, <laughs> we, are in a, we are in a race. Fibro worsens more or less depending on what life throws at you and well, you've been slung a whole lot. Yeah, I know, right? I used to struggle working any shift but third degree yard. One day I was offered a place where I that paid extremely well, but was only first, so I forced myself to do it and got used to it real quick fast. Yeah, man. I don't know. It just gets to a point the pain like gets to a point where it's like I can't do this anymore. Talking about working in hours and days and chefs is kind of boring. We can talk about something else. Are you a chef? Chefs are awesome. <laughs> I love to cook. I'd love to cook more. I really would. But sometimes it's even it's hard to have energy to even do that. I was working 70 plus hours a week at one point, and some people would be like, oh my god, why? But man, I can't wait to go back to working like that. I'll take the pain. The, men and the mentally of laying around all day is more damaging to me than the pain will ever be. I'm not willing to have a heart attack to deal with this type of pain that I'm in. That's true. In a fast-paced environment, you really don't think of the pain. But the five-minute car ride home, I barely get out the car. I stiffen up just that fast. Yep. Yep. That's usually how it happened. It's like, work. when I was working, I didn't really think about it. And then as soon as I get in my car and drive and, and home, I'm just like, oh, my God. I am going to die. I'm so sorry, Grease Bunny. I just hate feeling worthless. Yeah. Um, I know how that feel feeling is, is feeling worthless, but <laughs> I don't know. When you're as sick as I am, it's, it's like you have no choice but to deal with what you have and just figure out a way how to enjoy your life. And I am.
You make a salad mix about 3,000 pounds each week. Makes my arms look like a wrestler. Yeah, bro. Oh, I was diagnosed with fibro at 23. And um, it, they're thinking it was probably caused by trauma. God bless you, Grease Bunny. You you gotta be careful though. There's gonna might be a time where you just you can't do it anymore. That's how I am. I got to a point where I just couldn't do it anymore. I I just could not. Pray, am I depressed because I hurt, or do I hurt because I'm a depressed? Gotta love fibro. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I just, I just thought of something. Thank you for reminding me. I have to take my meds. <laughs> Yours was a side effect of illness. Diagnosed at 28 when I was pregnant with my second childhood. Childhood trauma. Yep. What's the process? Well, they usually test you before they diagnose you with fibro to see if you have, like, lupus or um, rheumatoid arthritis. They give you blood tests and stuff like that. Not a big deal. Which is better? Oh, I'm drinking cocoa with water, not, not milk. I mean, I could. I just don't want it. It's too heavy. All right. What is it, Gavin? What is it, Mr. Blinky Eyes? My blinks. My blinks. Mm -hmm. Yep, I was even sent to a shrink before being diagnosed. It's a long road, I tell you. It, it's a long road to be diagnosed with anything. We need to do more testing, more testing, more testing. Blah, blah, blah. God. Yeah, I, I, I don't quite remember it so much, but it was like, I remember getting tested for lupus. Um, I remember they were, they, like, <laughs> they gave me, like, exercise tests, and they, like, it was just weird. I don't know. But I don't remember all of it exactly, because I, I have really bad memory. <laughs> Trauma. That's what, that's another thing that happens with trauma. Your memory is shot. Good luck having a memory. Like, I have no short-term, I have very, very little short-term memory. So it's like, when people ask me, plus I don't, when I, when I try to recall something, um, it doesn't come up linear. It's more like pops and, and bubbles of, of like thoughts and concepts and, and, and like memories, I guess. So it's like when I'm trying to recall something, everything's all fucking jumbled and I don't remember like full details or anything to shit. It's fucked up. But. <laughs> Ask me what I do yesterday. I, I probably won't remember very much. Ferret, ferret, that's so true. When the doctor asks what hurts, it's easier to ask what doesn't hurt. My earlobes. I think my earlobes feel okay today. Everything else hurts like kicking your pinky on the corner of the coffee table. <laughs> Short-term memory plus fibro is fibro fought. I know, right? <laughs> you probably get this too, Ferret, where it's like you're just living your day and it's just everything's a fucking blur. I get that too. Or, or someone's like, I hate doing this because people find it rude, but it's like you're, you're in a conversation with someone and your brain goes into like dissociation mode and you really don't understand what they're saying anymore because you're completely dissociated. <laughs> I look at it as a, as a crow and a friend. I'll never be alone again. You're going to be investigated by neurology in January for possible tumor. Oh, my God. I'm sorry about that, Stella. 
You got Jay and Silent Bob's brand of infused joints, you lucky bastard. A berserker joint. I am berserker. That's awesome that they named their joint berserker. Girl, yes, one time I couldn't remember my husband's name. It was at the pharmacy. They probably thought I was pill shopping. It's like, what the f what, what, wait, 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 wait. There's times where sometimes I'm almost going to call Jason Chris and I'm like, holy shit, don't do that. Don't call your current baby your ex's name, dude. <laughs> it happens, and Jesus, it's bright out right now. God, I hate me. Oh. They also have a Snoogans and a Snoochie Boochies. Dude, he just got Jane Silent Bob's fucking bud. What? Yeah. They have their own company. They yeah. have their own company, yeah. God, they're probably making so much money. Kevin? Yeah. So much money. I want to try a Snoochie Boochie. Do you get it in Jersey? You would think. They're from Jersey, and Jersey's legal now. Is it legal? Yeah. I dated a guy from like four months ago, and for the life of me, I can't remember his freaking name. Yeah. What about the fibro dropsies? Do you have them? Yep. There's times where I'm just holding something and it just flies out of my hand. So it just flies out of my hand. You've seen that. <laughs> it's like, I'm so sorry. Hey. <laughs> Caviar Gold is the brand. I will look at that shit. Mm, that sounds good. Caviar Gold. Ugh. I've had some THC caviar. It's really concentrate, but... <laughs> One time I forgot numbers. I knew the buttons of my pin number, but not the actual numbers. My brain makes life interesting at times. Yeah. That fibro brain, it'll get you. And then people think you're a liar, and it's like, no, I just cannot recall facts. Doesn't mean I'm a liar. It just means my brain is fucked up. Well, my cognition has been so messed up. I've gone to places to pay for things, like like shop and then pay for something, and and I can't remember which card has money on it. So I'll just go. I'll, I'll like I'll try this one. There's nothing on it. Try this one. There's nothing. Oh, oh that's the one with the money. On poor it. guy. My brain is pathetic. So is mine. It's okay. We all have fucked up brains in this hizzle. So I ain't gonna judge Joe Biden no more on that shit. No, don't judge Joe Biden on his <laughs> brain. No, no, I ain't judging him. I never judged him on his brain though. He's just he's just old. old. Fucking old. He's just old. And remember, Joe Biden did have that um accident yes. with his head. Yes. So actually, he's probably extremely amazing to be with it like this still. Yeah. That he can even speak, really. He's 81? Is that old? 82? How old is he again? He just turned something. One 80. billion. Stop. <laughs> he's like 80, I think. That's amazing. And he's president. He could still hold his own, I guess. Kind of. That's amazing. Good for you. <laughs> Joey. Those of us that are not old don't understand. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just stop moving, freak my friend out. They were waving their hand in my face. They said it was like I went off wine for a minute. Yeah! Complete dissociation. I didn't know dropping things was a sign of fibro. Yeah, you're, you get you get neuropathy in your hands and your feet. So because of the neuropathy, and neuropathy is pretty much, you have no feeling in whatever area of body it is, but you lose feeling in your hands and your feet, so because of that loss of feeling, things can be easily dropped. Where there's no sense, there's no feeling. Wise statement, Padawan, wise statement. That is so unusual because I drop somewhere all the time. You should get tested for neuropathy then. I didn't recall it. I was like, why are you waving your hands in my face? I'm so sorry. Yep. Especially during a flare, I drop stuff all the time. It comes right out of my hand. I know. It's like, you're just, you're just like, la, 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 and it just flies out. It's like, holy crap, what the hell? Did my arm get possessed? 
so many times that's, that's happened. Flares are the worst. I don't know if I'm flaring up today or as just normal fucking fibro, but I hurt. My, is it just fibro though? It could be cancer. It could be the cancer, because my back and my neck, they have been the worst offender lately, is my back and my neck. And I guess my arms, too. Well, my, ar my arms hurt today, too. There's that. Legs, not so much, but arms, like... Like, it starts, it starts with the thumb right here, and then it goes all the way up to here, and then my neck. It's just all the way down to the tailbone. Just this big, giant, like, heaviness pain. I don't know how to explain it other than that. Mm. Wow. Naked chicks. Rookie cop lap dance anniversary. Commemorative coin marks occasion of lap dances? Okay. We have laminate floors in this place, so I dropped a lot of glasses, cups, etc. My hand at times just open and smash it goes. Yeah. One time I dropped a huge knife, and of course I was barefooted and everything swells. So during a flare, I have IBS as well. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I don't get IBS, thank God. I'm so sorry about that knife thing. It sucks. I just try to be extra careful and, and really try to just concentrate on said item I'm carrying so I don't drop it. Sometimes that doesn't even work. <laughs> it happens though. It happens. Anyway guys, I will be back on later. I gotta go and wait on the groceries because we got groceries coming this morning so i need to check out i will be back later i promise about being back later um definitely today because i got nothing else to do other than the grocery thing but i will be back later i will see you then i love you guys so much you guys are awesome see you guys uh, 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 uh